Happy Memorial Day and Semper Fi to all you Marines out there. I'm uh, having one for you here on Memorial Day. Um, this is for the fallen, so cheers. Thank you for your service and your sacrifice to this country. All right, so I picked up this Magnavox for 20 bucks. And this is, uh, purpose of this video is a startup video just to see how, see how it works. And I'm gonna post it to the Facebook group the Magnavox console, uh, console Stereo Enthusiast Group. Um, and I'll post on YouTube as well. Very knowledgeable people if you happen to pick up one of these to get it running. Um, this is my second one. And I just, I love the other one. It's a 62. And I'm not sure about this one yet. And I'll explain why. But uh, I think this was probably early 60s as well. But it's got a really good finish. And this might actually become my primary when I'm done with it. Um... So this was found in someone's shed. He had it in a shed. He had it for a couple of years. Where it came from before that, I don't know. No history to it or family history or anything like that. So it's got dirt, some mold on it, things like that. Unfortunately on the back, the tag is half ripped off. So I'm not sure of the model number exactly yet, but I'll be able to figure out when I open it up and get in there and dig in on the parts. Um, so this was on Facebook Marketplace, $20, come pick up, um, needs a needle, you know, you know how they always say it needs a needle, and as I learned from the first one, that is not the case. It needs relubing, it needs recapping, it needs cleaning, I mean all sorts of stuff. I mean you got 50 years worth of of use and grime and dirt and all that so uh, so I've got it plugged in um, of course on this side we have the, the storage compartment there and here we've got the turntable um, this is an Imperial Micromatic my other one is an Astrosonic so um, this is new to me the platter is pretty much smaller than, than my other one uh, but we'll check it out. So, um, so you're along the journey with me because I have not fired this thing up at all yet. So we're going to see what it does. Um, I'm going to expect that the volume will probably crackle. You know, dirty, dirty pots. Um, I hope that the changer mechanism works, but you know, it hasn't been re, re lubed or anything like that or cleaned. I'll, I'll be lucky if that works. Um, if anything, the radio should work, I, I would hope, but we'll see. So I got it on stereo FM. Let's see what it does. Um, to those new to Magnavoxes, the on and off for some reason is the treble pot. So let's see what we got. It looks like I have no sound. Let's try the speakers. Yeah, no sound. Oh wait, there it goes. Well, I don't know what it did. All right, I guess it. You started a book club. Um, we don't even have a yeah, there's the hissing. So with that, all you need. Excuse my dirty basement here. Oh, I don't have it over here. But basically, it's a uh, deoxid. It's uh spray for electronic parts and that'll that'll clean that up so that's good let's see how the let's get on a good station and see how it sounds all right so i got it on a classical station not because i like classical but facebook loves to take away audio from your videos if it's copyright so i would assume this is public domain we'll find out hopefully you can hear it but it sounds pretty darn good speakers work it's actually um, sounds a lot better than my other Magnavox did when I had it um, it was hardly getting any sound especially on the left side um, so I had to replace a lot of uh, capacitors for that but this one sounds pretty pretty good not bad at all 
Alright. Well, let's try the record player. Um, like I said, what I imagine is going to happen is, you know, there's not going to be any sound. I imagine it's going to need a cartridge and, um, you know, cleaning and things like that. But let's just see what it'll do. You never know. It might surprise me. All right, I've got the, the record loaded, ready to go. It's uh, it's an old scratched up Elvis record. It's it's in tough shape. Um, so I'm gonna use it just in case this thing goes crazy and starts uh, ripping apart my record. I hate to have one of my nice ones there. One thing I'm noticing, turning it on, is uh, that smell like it hasn't been run in a while and it's like burning off dust or something. The insides are heating up, so that's kind of interesting. So. I imagine on the inside it's going to be really dusty, so I'm just going to need to clean that. All right, the tone arm is free, so let's see. Let's see what we got here. Turn it on. Oh, I didn't even flip it to auto. It did it by itself. Oh, this thing's just. I'm not hearing anything from the record itself. Obviously, no sound. I mean, it has a needle, but it's probably way old. Oh, and there goes my my dog. He found a glove. He's gonna have fun with that. Have fun with that, Rocky. You kill that glove, okay? Yeah, he's our guard doggy. Let's see. Let me turn up the volume and see if, see if that. Well, there's sound, so I guess the cartridge works, maybe. Maybe I had the volume down too much. Let's see if it'll actually play. No. It seems like it's sitting real low on the record. Nobody has any idea about that. Probably needs a cartridge anyway. Huh. All right, let's try the changer again. Um, all I did was turn it to on and it it dropped the record anyway without me doing the auto. So let's, uh, let's try it again. All right, here we go with the second try. Let's see what it does. I'm gonna turn it on. Stand put. Maybe I turned it too far last time. Maybe it's real sensitive. Sensitive. Let's see. All right. Seems like the set down is good. Yeah, there's something wrong with that. Look, did you see that? See that tone arm just slide across? That's why I use an old record. And if that cartridge were right, I think I think we'd be listening to Elvis right now and getting down, but I'm going to have to figure that out. Pro probably, I mean, probably have to change the cartridge anyway. So, so that's that, and it sounds really good. I don't know if it can come across. I mean, this is just my cell phone, but it fills up the space just like these things do, and uh, you know, knock on wood, it won't need many capacitors. So, uh, Let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, I've got the back off of it, and uh, you can disregard what I said about capacitors because I do not think this thing has any, or at least many, because it's a bunch of tubes. This is very different than the one I had, or I have. Um, so I imagine it's older with all these glass tubes. Um, the receiver is actually different than my other one. A lot of dust, a lot of dirt. I had to wipe that off just so I can I can see. I'm still not seeing any other places where the model number would be. And I'll probably find it once I start cleaning up in here. But uh, so it's got the two subs, the horns. receiver is very different than, than my other one. 
but it sounds better. Yeah, I mean, it sounds really good. So, and I like the color, so it's probably gonna go in the man cave once I get it, once I get it done. So, uh, this being my second one, if you guys have any hints or tips or anything like that about what I should address, um, the sound is pretty good, so I don't know if I need to change any tubes. Um, but if you think I need to modernize it or something, you know, I don't know if they make modern tubes. Let me know what you think. But um, I think mainly what I need to do in here is just clean it carefully because I don't want to get it shocked. Of course, I'll unplug it. But um, the turntable, that's easy. You know, I'm more mechanically inclined than electronically inclined. So I'll be able to pull that thing out and get it lubed up and change the cartridge. Um, so I guess I'll just have to figure this thing out so that's pretty much it thanks for uh, joining me on this ride I'll post updates about uh, about the progress and see I'm about to hit it with some wood cleaner and some old English and we'll see how it looks after that so leave a message leave a comment or shoot me a private message or something let me know what you think and where I should go with this and especially if you have any idea what model this might be and what year it might be because I'm not quite sure and I guess I'll need to know that to order a cartridge or at least the at least that of the Imperial so thanks for watching and stay tuned because this thing is going to be cleaned up